In this class, we would understand multiple select questions, a very important and a dicey section is specifically for those appearing for gate because uh, commonly in most of the exams that you appear, multiple select is not part of your question paper. Now here, there is an interesting situation which is given. The situation is a teenager hates to study science but is not able to tell the parents fearing the reaction of the parents. Now what is this situation? This is an avoidance avoidance situation because the student does not want to study science and also does not want to tell the parent. So what could be the situation? It cannot be approach avoidance. It cannot be multiple approach avoidance. So only the correct options are avoidance avoidance. Now what? Avoidance avoidance that is he might run away from the home because he does not want to study science, does not want to tell the parents or he can keep on studying and um, keep on understanding that uh, parents would be very harsh or I fear my parents to tell. So just to maintain a balance, keep on doing what it is. And that is another way to escape that, uh, that situation in which the person would have to confront the parent. So both of these are the correct option. Now understand multiple select questions are important. The next is the need for achievement. When would be the need for achievement very high? If you give a person extremely challenging task, a person with high need of achievement would not be able to do it because they would always have a fear of failure. But a person with moderate need for achievement would be able to accomplish a difficult task. So a person with high need for achievement would like to work on a situation where they have control and can get a feedback. They don't want to have extremely challenging tasks because they are afraid of failures. Similarly, these individuals would constantly work on the task as they consider it. So they consider it to be the reflection of their own self. So it is related to the career, it is related to the intelligence and would have a, a persistence level that could be maintained. However, a person with high need for achievement would uh, not avoid changing their aspiration levels. So again, D is incorrect. So you have A and B as the right option for this question. The next is which of the following aspects are characteristics of group structure in an organization? Now, this is a part of organizational psychology. Under organizational psychology, as we have understood, we have task oriented roles, socio economic, ro socio emotional roles, and perspective roles norms. So task oriented is help the group members to achieve the goal. Socio emotional are provide a supportive and a nurture, nurturing environment and perspective norms are where we understand what needs to be done in a correct regard. So all these three are correct. But monitoring is not the right option because monitoring is not related with the group structure. Rather, it is related with appraisal or evaluation. So it is more related with evaluation. So A, B and C are the right answers for this question. The next question here is a very interesting question. So a researcher does a study which involves two independent variables. Now, since there are two independent variables, it would be a two-way ANOVA, very, very clear. Now, since it is a two-way ANOVA, fourth option is automatically incorrect. There are two independent variables. So in the C option, there are three independent variables. So again, that is an incorrect option. So the only correct option is A and B. Now, how both of these are correct examples of two-way ANOVA with two independent variables? In both these cases, there are two independent variables. Two by two means that there are independent variables with two levels each. So both the independent variable would have one level, two level, low, high, low, high, for example. The next is four into three. That means there are two independent variable. One independent variable has four levels. The other has three, low, medium, high, for example, and low, moderate, uh, high, and extremely high. So there can be four levels. So both of those are example of a study that would involve two independent variables and our example of two-way ANOVA. Clear? So uh, this is uh, 
this these two involve two way ANOVA the third two independent variables with different levels the third one involves three independent variables so again the third one is not the right option the next is which of the following is true about personal space personal space is a silent invisible space around you so it is a geographical component of our own interpersonal relations and invasion of the personal space are a matter of degree how much degree do you want a person to actually have a control on it Personal space varies from culture to culture. Asian people are considered less pers have uh, have relatively less personal space as compared to uh, Europeans or Western people. So it's the environment around an individual which is considered to be psychologically there. So I am here, and this environment around me is psychologically mine. So that is what is a personal space. The next question is a very interesting question. Now here. If a person got a score of 75 on a test, which of the following distribution allows most favorable interpretation of the score, assuming higher values are more favorable? So that means in this case, it is mean plus minus standard deviation. So in all of those, we would have the same uh, NPC curve that would go. So it would be mean plus minus standard deviation. Now 55 to make it 75, I require 20 more. So how many standard deviation? 5 into 4. That would give me 20. So 5 is standard deviation in the first case. In the second case, it would be how many standard deviations? So it is 60. So 15. Now to make it 15 and 3 standard deviations. So 3 into 5 again would be 15. So again 5 is standard deviation. In the next case, it is already 65. So with just 2 standard deviation, I would read 75. In this case, it is um, 50. So to read 75, I would have 2.5 standard deviation. So nearly 3 standard deviation. Here it would be 5 standard deviation and 5 standard deviation. So definitely, since it says assuming higher values as more favorable interpretation and we want most favorable interpretation, in the first two cases it is 5 standard deviation and therefore first two cases would be the right option for this question. The next question is another interesting question. The question says there was a situation where a person's wife was dying in a need for a drug. The only place that a person could get the drug was a pharmacy store and the person had a capability to pay only 20,000 but pharmacist wants 50,000. Now pharmacist is not willing to pay less than uh, to give the drug in less than 50,000 and is not allowing him to pay later. Now if the person is in a conventional stage of morality as per the Kohlberg's theory uh, of moral morality which of the following things the person would do now since the person is in the conventional state of morality the person would agree with the existing social norms so when the person would agree with the social norms which exist what does that mean that means that person would steal would become incorrect because a person would not steal because the person can go to jail would again be incorrect. But the person would not steal because everyone would consider him as a thief. That would be against the social norms. And his wife would not approve him. So that is definitely a part of conventional stage of morality. The next is no matter what, he would obey the law because stealing is a crime. Because that is a social norm, stealing is a crime. So again, this is correct. So one and two would be the right options in this case. So those were some of the questions which were multiple select in nature. Don't get afraid with multiple select questions because the question, if you know the concept, you would be by all means able to solve the question. Uh, to practice more questions, follow the link below. We have put in a lot of multiple select questions for practice. Wish you very good luck for your upcoming examination. Have a wonderful day ahead.